Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. No, I've had to say no about 10 times before starting this. No, naughty boy. Anyway, this is Lauren and she's come in today for a redesign. So her, I removed her previous design, which were a baby blue set, most probably up here on here because I always record Lauren's sets. Lauren's sets <laughs> um, so um, yeah back down to the clear layer she had snapped two Lauren is my long term lifter long time lifter but for the past couple of couple of times there's been zero lifting and you can see that like, on her baby her baby finger her ring finger and also her thumb it's all her nail that is grown and she's had no accidents and they're all her nails which she's proud of and so am i but for the first time in a long time she snapped these two so the middle finger and the pointer so we've just put a tip on here um a natural tip because obviously if we put a clear on it's going to look a little bit odd when we flip the nails over um and these are tips that i have coming out um, in the near future so these are natural ones I also have clear ones I love them they have a well oh, I love them anyway I'll talk more about that when I have them in stock for people to buy and have more um, details of when they're going to be released and stuff but anyway um, so here this is a really simple well yeah it's kind of simple set so i'm not going to talk all the way through it i'm just going to talk now and then i'm going to let you enjoy and watch it so we just started off with a bead of a more at the cuticle area and blend it down no bulk at the tip we just want that all at the back just to cover her natural nail color really and then so that was a more and then we're going to do like just literally blending colors together i think a lot of people were asking for this video but i don't think they realize how actually simple it is just blending blending um acrylic colors together really thin and wet and wishy-washy kind of just building up the color really so i wasn't <clears throat> I had no like method to this I just went with it I had a five colors I think let me try and remember what the colors were <coughs> I know we have baby blue magenta orchid um, Malibu sunset and lime blah, 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 blah. lime something I'm gonna say lime lust but I know that's my my color my glitter so it's lime lime splash lime splash um <clears throat> so yeah i was just making sure that she liked it there also this her ring her mid uh, her ring finger here sorry is she broke it years back i've probably told you all about that so her now her now and her finger is mega wonky so don't judge <coughs> don't judge me on that <laughs> i'll try my best to try and make it look straight but anyway yeah i'm literally just gonna don't even know how to mention it or talk about it but just picking up really thin really thin really small wet beads of the color each color and then just literally paint kind of like just painting it on the tip making sure that you don't want to have any um you know blunt you kind of want it to look a bit ombre but not really ombre you know you don't want no blunt color um going up the cuticle area so yeah i'm using my size i think this is my size 12 i could be lying it might be my size 10 i can't remember i just picked up anything i think it might be my size 10 actually um my size 10 brush i'm gonna say um and yeah just mixing the colors together not really much i can say about this um and then oh let me tell you so when i when i was doing this i was thinking <laughs> what the hell now i wasn't thinking what the hell but i was thinking oh right i hope these turn out all right you know um and lauren is a bit of a um natural she likes things natural and plain and she likes the same glitters and um so i was a bit like well these are out there but um what i say 
is so true. As soon as you cap the nails, it just smooths everything out and it makes you feel 10 times better. And then once you file them, and then when you shape them, everything just looks great. So to have some faith in yourself. I always doubt myself, but I know as soon as I'm capping them, and as soon as I shape them, they're going to be fine. Um, and that's exactly what happened on this set. I just keep flipping the hand around just to see from her view. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cap them, I'm going to file them, I'm going to shape them, um, and then I'm going to gloss them and then we're done so i do hope you enjoyed this video really simple um if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel i would love it if you did and i will see you in my next one bye